Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another episode of the Youth Only Save with Socho. Um, where you left us off last, we managed to go on a bit of a decent run. Um, we even got our best victory ever when we actually managed to beat PSG. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. So, an amazing time ahead of us. We are currently fourth in the league, um, and we've got plenty of time ahead of us. Now, it could go completely wrong. Um, which it would be typical of me, but we could actually even get into Europe this year, which would be amazing for our first season in League One. I just wanted to sustain the division. That's my only aim. Anything else is a bonus. So I'm more than happy at the moment, and hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Um, let me know if you are in the comment section, and I'll be back in a sec with the first match of the episode. As I said in the intro, we are fourth. Uh, 13 games played, 8 wins, 2 losses, uh, two draws sorry, and 3 losses, 26 points. I will just quickly show you, in case you missed it in the last episode, um, we went on a bit of a run starting with obviously being PSG 3-1 again. I know they haven't got Mbappe, but they're still PSG, they've still got a hell of a team with Musala and everybody else. I mean, look at their team here, let's have a look. They got Mirwani. Oh, Mbappe is in this team. I've completely forgot this was before the uh, day of So they've got bloody Mbappe as well. Musala, uh, Zari Emery, Barello, Ugarte, Mendes, Silva, Hakimi, Donnarumma. So they've got one hell of a team. And yet, little old Socho, but not old because we're quite young, but little young Socho, um, we managed to beat them 3-1 thanks to Kofi Double and uh, Kotu, Kotu Mwemba. Oh, so really, really happy with that. And then we went on and beat Rain, uh, Reims 3-1 and Strasbourg 4-0. Let's have a look at the Strasbourg result. Izanga did up um, an own goal and did up again. So, yeah, good little episode last episode. Let's hope we can continue that. Now, we have got, in between episodes, I have picked up an injury for a goalkeeper, Popal. So this will be uh, first start of the season for Ruout. Hopefully he'll do well for us. Um, we've got so let's I'll show you who so show you Ruel. So he's not too bad. He's a pretty good goalkeeper. Um, only twenty one years old. And then we've got Arigi as well, who's pretty good backup at twenty years old. Um, and just to be on the safe side, because I only had two goalkeepers in the senior squad. I've called up from the reserves Leo Gurigan, who's pretty decent as well. So we're we're more than blessed when it comes to goalkeepers. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, his current ability is two. So He'll probably be competent enough in this game, but we'll see. I've probably jinxed him now. Um, but yeah, we've got... Let's just um, go through this, uh, the starting lineup. So obviously, Ruat and goal. Pinto is right back. Diagne and Paisley in centre defence. Bastion is left back. Mugin and Abdu in the middle midfield. Azanga on the right. Angeli in the middle, just behind the striker. Uh, did it on the left and Kofi up front. So let's see how we get on. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Um, I had a pretty good weekend, very nice, peaceful weekend, really. Well, I say that, I was dog sitting from my mom, she's got four dogs, and um, the slightest noise they hear, it startles them, and they bark, they bark, and if one barks, they all bark. Um, they also are very possessive over their bones and chews and everything, so if the dog goes anywhere near them when they're trying to chew, um, they growl, and that happens all night. So I don't get much sleep yet. So if my energy levels aren't the best, I apologise. I am trying to uh, try to come across as energetic as possible. But yeah, um, but I've only got a couple more days to do and then I'll be back here. I've managed to come down here today to um, look after my lovely little dog Baxter, but also um, do some recordings. So do some batch recordings for the, for the next couple of days. Because, again, I can't do any recording when I'm at mom's because the dogs just randomly start barking and it will be it will take me forever to edit the videos. Anyway, we're not, we're not doing well here, 1-0. Um, we won't talk about Man United's performance against Liverpool, thank you. Um, that's not happening. Now, jokes aside, I don't like that we're already... Everybody is already on... Uh, Ten Hag saying he needs to go. It's just ridiculous. It's literally three games into the season. Calm the hell down, everybody. 
it wasn't the best performance, but Liverpool are a very good team. They're probably going to... If, if, if Man City don't win the title this season, it'll probably be Liverpool. So, you know, we, we I'm, I'm not under any illusion that we're... I know we did beat Liverpool in the Cup, but um, I'm under no illusion that, that we're better than Liverpool at the moment. We're not. We're, we're a transitional team. We're building a game. We keep having... We keep, we keep trying to get better players in, but it's not as easy as that. It's hard to attract the type of players that we can to compete with Man City and Liverpool, especially with FFP now. But um, I feel like we've done all right like with the signings. Um, De Ligt played pretty well. Uh, pretty long. Um, De Ligt played pretty well. Gamacho played pretty well. Um, but that was about it, really, I think. Onana, uh, obviously Casemiro, but um, Onana as well, that... He, I don't know what he was playing at with that that one goal. Get in one. No, that's disallowed in it. I think he was too far forward. But yeah, onwards and upwards. We've got the international break. Oh, goal order get in. We've got the international break now. So hopefully it gives Ten Hag time to get certain players back, like Hoyland, and also also try and find. I think I think what he needs to do is he needs to be a bit more defensive. We're leaking too many goals, so I think maybe he needs to do like a five-three-two. Um, I think that's the way forward. Get rid of the wingers, because let's be honest, um, Diallo's all right at times. Camacho's pretty good, but Camacho could play up front pretty much, couldn't he? Um, I think us using wingers is not really the way to go. So I think what what I would like us to do is have three central defenders: Maguire, De Ligt, and um, Martinez. And then have Masoy Mas Masaroy on the right. Um, for now, obviously have Dalot on the left, and then have Menu Fernandez and um, um, Ugarte in midfield, centre midfield. Maybe maybe have Bruno just slightly ahead of them too. Um, and then I'll, and then probably have Hoyland and Gamacho up front maybe. I think Gamacho would probably be a pretty good striker if you float the ball over to him. I think he'd be able to use his pace to get past the players. Um, but yeah, I think that's the way forward. And then Xerxes can come on when we need a bit of an aerial threat. Um, like I said, Diallo can come on if we need to actually have a winger on the pitch. Rashford doesn't. Rashford shouldn't be playing for a while. Casemiro shouldn't be playing for a while. They need to earn. They need to get a few minutes here and there and earn their place back. Really. Uh, show that they're uh, they're good enough. I, I think with Rashford, it's not necessarily that he's not putting the effort in at times. I think he's just not good enough. Anyway, enough about my rants about Man United. Um, we lost that game, which is not a good start to the episode. I hope that's not the first of many, especially after the last episode where we did really well. Right, we haven't got a game for six days, so you know the score. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we are playing since ATN next game. Um, I'm just going to show you the play, the amount of interest we're getting in our players. Now, ignore Rulat because that's a loan offer. Um, somebody wants to bring him in on loan, Laval, I think. There you go. But we've got Bertrand Paisley, who obviously requested a transfer. Um, he's valued at 16 million. Um, we've got Nottingham Forest Wolves, Marseille, At Atalanta, and Al Ain interested in him. And then Pinto, we've got interest from Villarreal. Uh, and then Didot is in got interest from Real Sociedad. So it's going to be an interesting January transfer window. Um, but yeah, we've not got the biggest as well. But we have got quite a bit reserved. So look, literally, if I just... So we've got plenty of players to come in and replace. Well, not plenty, but we've got enough here. Um, we've definitely got enough goalkeepers to last us a lifetime. We've got like six goalkeepers. I do think it's annoying that FM seems to overpower goal goalkeeper youth prospects on this game. Literally every goalkeeper ends up being world class. Well, not world class, but very good. And whereas it, you, you don't get that with other positions, it just seems to be overpowered for goalkeepers. But right, anyway, let's crack on. I think the the team is pretty much unchanged um, by the looks of it. Kofi's up front, yeah. So oh, we got Pinto in midfield with Thierry. That didn't happen last game. But other than that, it's pretty much unchanged. Uh, let's see how we get on. The yellows versus the greens. Um, I've decided against getting a 
so so shit that it was too much of an expense for me to to go with at the moment if i can get a fake one i'll get a fake one get in get up and then i might just buy like a scarf or something from the the social clubhouse so at least club shop so at least they've had some money off me um but yeah i just i can't justify spending like 50 60 euros or whatever on any football shirt i don't even do that with man united football shirts literally I've got a few, I've got literally 80% of my Man United shirt collection is fake shirts because I just, I can't justify spending 70, 80 quid on a football shirt. I don't mind waiting until the end of the season and then getting it, but even then it's still like 30, 40 quid. It's just, you know, money's tight. Unless, until I become an absolute superstar on here and earn loads of money from YouTube, I can't afford all these luxuries. <laughs> right, Diagne with the cross, Kofi. I love the orange ball, by the way. It makes it very pleasing on the eye. It makes a nice change. I don't think I've seen an orange ball on here before. Or I probably have, not just not really paid much attention to it. We're still fourth in the league, um, so not too bad. If we stay fourth, I think we get Champions League football, but I could be wrong on that one. I think it's the top three teams get Champions League football in France. Lovely day here on the for the pitch. Absolutely hammering it down. I'm off to see Cadbury Athletic play um, on Saturday, so I'm gonna start going to them games. I might, I'll probably do like maybe a couple of short videos from a YouTube channel or something. Um, I don't think I'll be doing long videos because. Um, I can't be. I can't wear. I'm not going to be. You're not going to see my face. I'm not going to be wearing a mask for the football games. So it might just be like um. I don't know if I can somehow do a highlight video when they score or something. Um, but I'm just going for the experience. Really, go go and see some local football. Might make some new friends there or something. Be nice to see Cabri Athletic play. Their youth teams had a few decent players over the years. Daniel Sturridge and Damari Gray played for Cabaret Athletic youth team. Get in, go on, Angeli. So, um, yeah. So they, they've got a good rep of producing good young players at lower levels who go on to, who go on to do better things. And they 1 0. We're now up to third. Four points behind Ren, uh, Len, sorry. Angeli. Oh, what a free kick that was. That was unlucky. Right, corner to us. Izanga with the corner. Floats it up straight into the goalkeeper's hands. I knew that was going to happen. I just, I just felt it in my waters. Right. Oh. A few knackered players. Uh, him. So we've got a debut for Zalo. Mm -mm -mm. um, I'll have to put him in there. Oh, we've got to take Diagne off as well. Right, quite a few subs on now. That was Diagne's. Last contribution of the game. Ah, one one. Good header. Right, not long left in the game for us to try and get a winner here. But I hope for the best here. Oh great, they've got another free kick. Goal coming up here, isn't there? Just feel it. Oh, that was a good shot that was. I thought that was going in. Right, probably ending one one. Yeah, I think there's no more highlights coming up here. One one's not the worst result. Would have been nice to get uh, the first win of the episode here, but we're still fourth, so count ourselves lucky, really. All right, did opt out for five to six weeks, which is not what we need right now. Uh, right, so we haven't got a game for seven days, so I'll see you in a sec. Right, so we're now playing Gu uh, Guingamp. 
I can never get that name right. Um, we have got interest with, from Bobby Adu as well. 20 clubs want him. I'd have loved to see him in Marseille. So like, not like, not like massive teams, I suppose. So, um, we'll be lucky to probably get 10 million for him, maybe. Um, we've also had offer. Well, we've not had offers, but we've also had interest from similar teams for Paisley as well. Um, transfer value is 16 million. Whether we'll get that is a different story. But yeah. Right, let's see how we get on. Um, Kofi is on the verge of signing a new contract. He wanted an improved contract. I have offered him a five-year contract. He's, turn he's 27, so I think it's pretty much safe to say that we're going to have him at, at his best. And hopefully he'll break some records for the club. Um, because I want him at the club for the rest of the time that I'm here. I, it, you know What I'm thinking is, if he's here for another five years, then I will do this say for another five years. If I if I succeed in my objectives before then, I will probably um, still holiday maybe a couple of years while he's still there, and see where he ends up in his career, like how many goals he ends up getting. Oh my God, Zebo, that was ridiculous. Zerbo, sorry, that was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Well, we've lost this game, everybody. Now, I think that's pretty much safe to say. You know what it's like with FM. I say this, but you, you never know. We might end up scoring in. But yeah, Kofi is a great player. Um, he'll become a, a, a social icon by the time I finish this save, I reckon. Or a legend. I can't remember which one's the highest one you can get. I better be an icon or a legend, though, to be honest. Get in, 1-0. Talk talking of him. Kofi with his 11th goal of the season. Somehow we're winning. Don't ask me how. Especially as we've got no right back. Was Zubo playing right back there? No, Diakne was. He's a... Oh, he can play right back. He's very versatile. He can play right back, defensive midfielder, centre midfielder, and attacking midfield centre. So he'll be probably a good player for us as long as he can... Stop getting sent off all the time. Right, one nil coming up to half time. I will take a draw at the end of this. Ah, this is why we're winning. Go and gam. Bottom of the league. Only got three points all season. They are definitely getting relegated because Strasbourg are thirteen points ahead of them. Poor Go and Gam. Right, I'm gonna do some tactical stuff here. So we've got no right back. So what I'm going to do is Isanga's not playing very well. Oh no, he is. Who's not playing well? Oh, left. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm put him over here, and then swap him over and put Valmi there, and then just switch him a little bit over here, like so. Uh, Thierry's not playing very well either. So we'll give a debut to Ugo Sutter. Diagne's not playing very well, so we'll take him off and put Guerreri new. Guerreri new. You never know, by the end of this save, I might actually get people's names right. Oh my god. The subs have not contributed well here. Thank God for Ruralt. Uh, Angeli is knackered. He comes off. Muller that's on. If we do actually win this game, we'll only be three points behind second place. So I'll be absolutely buzzing if we get second place in our first season in Ligue 1. That'd be one hell of an achievement. I don't think many people have done that. Actually, I don't think anybody's done that in real life, have they? I don't know. Let me know. Right, let's hope that we can keep the victory, but I just because of because we've got a man down, I can see them scoring in a second. I think this game's gonna end one one. Oof, maybe not. Can we take Bastion off? No, we can't take any more players off. 
Sutter's doing all right. Muller's doing all right. Who else? Who else has come on? Gurunu not doing too good. Balmy's doing okay, I suppose. There we go. One nil. Good, good, good. Do this like so. Right. When's our next game? Seven days. Yep. Right. So we're back in a sec. Right. We're back and we're playing um, Lil next. Um, this is our starting lineup. Um. I try. I try to think what I was going to say. Oh yeah. So we've had offers for Bobby Adu for I think some of twelve million. We've had 12 million, 12 million, and then 10 million plus add ons. So the one from Brock has got like a 20 or 30 percent uh, profit clause. The other two are just um, plain transfers. The chairman accepted the offer because it was too good to turn down, which is fair enough. So he looks like he'll be leaving. He'll probably be going to Saudi Arabia. So that leaves us a bit of a. Luckily, we've got a few central midfielders actually, so we're all right in that position. Um, I'll just call up one or two from the reserves and uh, like Zerbo for instance and he can play there as long as he doesn't get sent off all the time but anyway right let's see how we get on here against Lil it would be nice to get a win we're very lucky to beat Goon Camp I mean I know they are a terrible team but when you get a man sent off it's always standard for football manager to have you lose Oh, the orange ball's back. I love that orange ball. Right. Angeli. Oof. Testing the keeper out in the early start, early part of the game. Angeli with the corner. For some reason, we, they're not showing it. Um, we're down to fifth now. So, we could really do with winning this game. The other two teams are winning by the looks of it. I feel like they're going to cock up here. I've got the ball back. The admin on a yellow card, which concerns me. Abdu might be playing his... Oh, no, it won't be, it won't be his last game because we're only in November. He'll be going in January, even if he does sign for somebody. So we'll still have him for a few more weeks. Um, Izanga with the corner. Floats it up. Retain possession. Angeli with the corner, driven in, headed out, Oof, nearly Thierry. We seem to be dominating at the moment, but still nil-nil, so it doesn't really mean anything unless you're winning. Abdu, oh, what a goal by Kofi. Ah. Right, we'll see, we'll see what the VAR says. Goal awarded, get in. 1 0. Right, we're now up to third. Four points behind Lenzo. We're only uh, eight points behind PSG, which isn't too bad. It would be nice to beat, it would be nice to win the league um, with PSG. Having Mbappe there, whether he'll be there by the time we do it is a different story altogether. I think Angeli's offside here. No, he's, he's missed past it anyway. Well done by Bastian to get the ball back. Abdu, Angeli, Pinto with the ball now. Loses the ball. Still get it back by Bastian. Oh, I thought that was a goal then. Bastian doing really well there. Right, who's playing poorly here? Uh, Mwemba. Mwemba, Mwemba, Mwemba. Um, well, that will put you wrong way. Really, got anybody else on the left? Bastian. Oh, that's a foul. It's not in. It's not in the penalty box though. No. He's he's outside the box there. It's clearly not a penalty. That's what I mean. I don't understand why they bother. Right, we've got a free kick though. No, clearly not. Right, 
throwing to us, passing it around through midfield. Beautiful ball. Get in. Go on, Kofi. He's on fire. He's made. He's definitely made the step up to league. Him. I was a bit worried that he wouldn't be able to do it. So if you want, um, if you're starting a French league, say, and you want a talented striker who's quite young, you think about it. How many years have I been at Socho now? <clears throat> Sorry, I think he was 21 when I started this game, and he is. He's got. I mean, last season he only got 17, but you know he's already got 11, 15 games. 25, 22, 14, fair enough, at about okay season there. I mean, still, that's pretty good. 14, 17, it's pretty good still. 20, 19, so he's doing well. So he's got 134 goals and 232 appearances. Um, so, yeah, definitely one, two. If you're starting to say with a lower league, lower French team in the in league, and maybe like Nantes or Reims, or, and you want like a a hidden gem striker, then sign Kofi from Socio. You won't regret it, I promise you now. Him and Bastian, honestly, you should sign them two straight away. Talking to Bastian, he's bloody knackered. Yeah, go on, Thierry. Even Thierry's getting involved. God, getting a lot of people knackered here. Right, there we go. I feel like that's it now. There we go. Right, 3 0. Lovely jubbly. Back on form. Didn't start the episode well, but we're uh, we're nearly ending it well. We've got one more game after this for this episode, I think. Valmy. Sutter. Ooh, even Paisley scored nearly scored then. Thierry. Nearly. Oh, headed over. Right, we've got a few minutes left left now and we'll just see the game out. There we go. Nice win. Yeah, Kofi. Definitely looking to sign him if you're signing. And what I might do is put it to the test. I might start um, an offline save in France, maybe Strasbourg or somebody like that, and sign Kofi and Bastien and let you know how they get on in uh, top division from the start. But we'll see. Right. There's no game for 21 days, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back. Um, we are playing in the Coupe de France next against Troyes. So I've done a full rotation. So we've got a few players here. Uh, that haven't been playing first team football. Um, just going to let you know that we did. Um, we have sold Bobby Adu, which will be it's a very sad day, but he wanted to go. And um, good luck to him. He's getting a massive wage of 77 grand uh, in Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, we didn't with this deal, we didn't get a profit of the next, uh, next sale, but I can't imagine he's going to leave because he'll probably get ridiculous wages for the rest of his career, and I can't imagine many teams will match that. So he'll probably stay in Saudi Arabia for the rest of his career, but fair play to him, he's making dollar. He's making dollar. Um, and then we also got rid of um, Loic Matthias, because he was just moaning all the time, so I just got rid of him out of that. We managed to bring in literally nearly 20 million in transfers this season, which is remarkable. Bobby Adu being the biggest one, but obviously Labatt. How, how's Labatt doing at Leeds? Um, he's only played a couple of games, mostly played for the reserves, but he's done all right. We can bring him in on loan if we wanted to, but I won't. Um, oh, I don't know why that happened there. Right. Um, yeah. So we brought two players that brought in literally the nineteen million, and then we've got because the Anthony was moaning because I wasn't playing him in the role that he wants to play, which is wide centre back. Because I don't play wide centre back, so I've decided I had enough of him moaning. And we've had a couple of offers, including um, both of these offers come with 20% profit on his next transfer. So he's out the door. He's a bit old now for the team at 27, bless him. Um, so he's out. And then we've had a couple of loan offers for our goalkeepers that might leave us a bit light. But I think we'll be all right because we've got Popal coming back. We've got Rue out. And then we've got... Hold on, let's have a look. Who's in here? 
There we go. We've got a hell of a lot of goalkeepers, so we'll be more than all right. Even if we've got to have one of our youngsters here as backup, it's fine because the most likelihood is they're not going to be playing because Popo or Ruat will be playing, so it'll be fine. Right, anyway, onwards and upwards, let's play this game. Hopefully some of our reserve players and new players can impress me. Oh, great. LeBron's sort of had a knock, but we'll leave it. He's all right. We'll, we'll leave him for now. Troy's in possession. Are they going to get the first goal? No. Um, no, ignore it. Head it out nicely. Troy's are playing very well at the moment. Oh, good, good clearance. Right, I'm going to berate the players already. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm not happy about this at all. Troy's are just all over us. Right, still nil nil though. Finally, we get a highlight. Sutter. Cross to Bastian. Bastian playing today because I don't think we've got any other left backs. Oh my god, what a goal. That was a great volley. Oh, own goal? Okay, I need to see that again. I need to slow it down first though. What happened here? Bastian. Here, yeah, he has the ball. Oh, it must, it must have hit the player or something. Right then, 1 0. That berate, that me berating the players managed to work in my favour. Usually it doesn't, so this is probably the first and only time it's ever going to work. Bit of a quiet game, this one. Not exactly the most exciting game to be finishing the episode on. Angeli's had to come on earlier than I wanted him to. Uh, forward players are not doing particularly well. Neither is Guru Nuru or Mugen. Yeah, like so hopefully that will no no well Mo was playing worse than he was a minute ago so that's not good the Wemba can come off actually uh, the Wemba uh, just have to put him in right Troy's with possession now Good clearance. They've got it back there. Galvez, our former player. 1-1. One, one. wonder how Galvez is doing. Is it our Galvez? Maybe, maybe it won't be. Let's have a look. Oh no, not our Galvez. I think Galvez used to play for us. It's a Z, uh, an S, not a Z. Right, who else can we take on? Vaz can come off. We'll have to put on you. And our only other sub we can make now is a central defender. Uh, we can't even make any more subs. Uh, that's that. We'll just go and make do with what we've got now. Mugen playing absolutely rubbish. Fire him up, see if that helps. <laughs> Moving with a nice bit of pass in there though, so maybe it has worked. Valmy, back to Zerbo. Angeli to, to Valmy. Oh, he just trickled it in there. Home goal again, bloody hell. Is it the same player? Nah, but that's quite funny. 
Troys have uh, messed up big time there. They cost well. I mean, they're still plenty of time, but their defensive errors have cost them the game. Mugen is playing terrible here. Right, I'm just going to berate a few players. This might come back to bite me in the arse, but we'll see. Angeli. Oh, get in. I'm on in. 3-1, game over now. Good little win to end the episode. Right, nice, we're through to the next round of the Coupe de France. Um, we'll recall Patricio. De Bruyne is injured for three to five days. Bastien with a great performance again. Mugen has signed a new contract. Right, when's our next game? Okay, so anyway. We finish the episode third in the league through to the next round of the French Cup, Coupe de France. Uh, next episode, we've got games against Nice, Monaco, Troyes again, uh, Lorient, and probably Gibraltar. So, some tough games and some relatively winnable games, I reckon. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, already, please subscribe. Please like the videos. I just realised my mask is really weird over my glasses. I'll fix that in a minute. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you as always. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back tomorrow with another social episode. All the best.